Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 1146, Snapshot Array. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here I've taken the first example from the lead code website. So in this problem, we need to write a different functions to implement the snapshot array, right? So I will explain the problem as we create the different functions using the given example so that it will be much easier for you guys to understand, right? So let's start. So initially we need to create an array with a length that is given. So here it is given three. So we are creating a set of three, right? And the reason why we are creating a list of tuple within the array is that we need to maintain the history, right? At each and every indices. So here the first value represents the snapshot ID and here it represents the value associated to that ID right so initially everything is set to zero so we are creating this list of tuples for each and every indices to maintain history in that particular index then we will initialize a snapshot ID as zero at the start then in the set function, we need to pass the index and value. So here we can see that right in the input, we have index and the value. So we need to set 5 in the index 0. So in the 0th index, we need to append the corresponding snapshot ID and the value. Right. So we will be having 0 and 5 within this list. So in the index 0, so we are appending the corresponding snap ID and the corresponding value that we need to set, right? So in the index 0, we are setting the value 5 using the corresponding snap ID, right? So we are appending that in this index. So now we need to take the snapshot of the array. So in the snapshot function, we need to return the snapshot ID, that is the snap ID, right? So we need to take a screenshot of this. Then we need to increase this ID by 1. So we need to return 0, right? So in order to return 0, we need to reduce the snap ID by 1. So we will be getting 0, right? So that's how the snap function works. So we need to call the set function again. So in the zeroth index, we need to set the corresponding snap ID 1 and the corresponding value 6. So we are appending this tuple within this list. So we are maintaining the history in the zeroth index. So now we will see the important part of this problem that is the get function. So in the get function, we will be passing the index and the snap id so here we are passing 0 and 0 all right so we will be passing 0 and snap id 0 as well so now we need to only focus on the history in the index 0 right we don't have to care about these we need to only care about the history 0 now so now we will see how we are going to do this so here we have taken the index 0 values and the corresponding snap ID that has been passed in the get function that is 0, right? So we know this is a list of values in the index 0. So we need to return a value at the index 0 with the corresponding ID 0, that is a snap ID 0. That we took the screenshot. So this is the index 0. So we need to return the value that is associated with snap ID 0 at the time we took the screenshot. So we returned 0 in the snap, right? So at the time, which value has the snap ID 0? 5 was having snap ID 0. So we need to return 5. So in order to implement this function, we are going to use binary search. So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially we will be having left and right pointers in the history of index 0. 
So a left pointer will point to the zeroth index. So the right pointer will point to the last index that is 2 here. Then we need to find the middle index. So where I will add left and right and I will divide by 2. So here 0 plus 2 is going to be 2 and if I divide that it's going to be 1. So middle will point to the index 1. So in the middle value we need to check the snap ID 0 and this 0 should be less than or equal to the snap ID we passed in the get function that is 0. So when this condition is satisfied we need to move our left to pointer mid plus 1. So our left pointer will point to the index 2. So I will run the loop until my left is less than or equal to right. So since here left and right are equal, so we will run the loop. So again we need to find the middle value that is left plus right and we need to divide by 2. So we are going to get 2. So the middle value will be same as left and right pointer. Then we need to check whether the snap ID 1 is less than or equal to 0, the snap ID that we passed in the get function and this is not valid. So now we need to move our right pointer by subtracting 1 with the middle value. So right pointer will be pointing to first index. So mid minus 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. So our right pointer will point to the first index. So here the left pointer is greater than right pointer, so we won't run the loop. So when returning the answer, we need to consider the right pointer, which is nothing but 0 and 5, right? And we will be returning the value associated with the snap ID 0, that is 5, right? That's how the logic is. Now we will see the code. So before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting this. So initially we will be creating an array using the length input. Then we will be initializing the snap ID as zero at the start. Then in the set function, we are appending the corresponding snap ID and the value that has been passed in the set function in the corresponding index in the array, right? Then in the snap function, we need to increase our snap ID by 1. Then we need to return the snap ID that we took the screenshot of, right? Then in the get function, we will be taking the values in the corresponding index in the array. That will be our history. Then we will be initializing left and right pointers, which will be 0 and the last index in my history, respectively. Then I will write a while loop and I will run the while loop until the left pointer is less than or equal to the right pointer. Then we find the middle value in the history. Then we use the middle value in the history to return the corresponding value that is associated with the snap ID at the time we took the screenshot of it. Right? That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.